Hi friends, MD Vegan Breakfast Time. I'm making new granola. I always make new ones. And um, the idea is I have several parts. That's a method. Three parts yeah, or three ingredients at the least. And each ingredient can have three again and so forth. So three parts. In this case, the first part is a granola, the dried parts. That is buckwheaties, walnuts, and goji berries. Here are the buckwheaties. I show you in another video, find the link under this one, how to make them. But it's easy. Yeah. You can soak buckwheat, it's easy to get, inexpensive. Soak it overnight in water and then it begins to sprout already, pretty soon. And as soon as it comes out, you dry them back into, in an oven or a dehydrator. I prefer the dehydrator because it's low temperature. And that tastes better to me. But it doesn't really matter. Get the crunchy little things and you can store them for a month and month in sealed containers and always have a ready um, a granola ready to go. Uh, so they are nice. And the second ingredient is um, the walnut. That is one of the healthiest nuts. Nuts are the recommended um, snack. You want to live longer and stay healthy. Nuts are it. Uh, wonderful. Uh, they have a special fat. These nuts here, the walnuts, uh, omega-3 fatty acid. That is needed every day. You need somehow to get it anyhow. But the walnuts are a good way because they have plenty of it. It's in many plants, but not in abundance. So walnuts are that. Flaxseed, chia seed, hemp seeds, also in abundance. And algae. There's I don't know. The final five plants, um, how to get a lot. But that's nice. And it fits nice with the, with the granola, with the buckwheat yeast. That is very nice. And goji berries too. I tried this one. I like it a lot. These walnuts, buckwheat, goji berry granola. Goji berries are berries. Berries are the healthiest fruit. It's dried fruit. That means it is it is um it's um less water, more nutrient dense, and it really keeps us a little bit warm. Um, dried ingredients on a cold day, for example, like in winter or so. Granola part is more important than in summer. In summer, I eat a lot of fruit. In winter, I eat more the dried parts because they make us warm. And the goji berries have a sweet uh, tart flavor. That's a kind of citrus. They go very nice with citrus fruit. Citrus fruit. They're super high in antioxidants, like all the berries. Uh, great for the brain, and so it's really amazing. Uh, so this little combination here, I like it a lot. And that's the first part. Second part is a fruit salad. Uh, very simple. I have two ingredients only. I always. Um, Pick two uh, that I like together. Yeah, a little team play here. Bananas and tangerines. Uh, I like this combination. I tried it before in some other recipes. In many ways here, similar amounts of just slicing um, bananas and I love bananas and some um, tangerines. Yeah. They're nicely together. And uh, I put some yogurt on top to make a yogurt fruit salad. And um, then the second part, the yogurt is cashew yogurt. It's a thick yogurt, like a Greek yogurt. And here I made it, you see, this is the fermentation that makes gas, the bacteria that work through the sugar of the cashews. They work these um, like bubbles here, air. And so it fills up the whole glass. If you fill it too high, I can only fill it until here, yeah. maximum. And then it goes like here, yeah. you see. Otherwise, and you fill it a bit here, it goes through the lid and then you have the mess everywhere. So I'm going to show you another video how to make this. It's awesome. You find two links under this video: the buckwheaties and the cashew yogurt. And the cashew yogurt, see, what it looks like when it's direct after fermentation. It takes a night only in the room temperature, and then you have this kind of image. And when you stir it a little bit, put it all together, it looks like a normal yogurt. Show you again a moment. And the gas goes out of it, and you see normal yogurt. And you can make your yogurt thicker or thinner. Uh, the 
depends on how much, much cashews do you put in, and how much water. I put one to one usually, and I have a medium thick one. Here I show what it looks like. And I will pour it over my fruit salad, you see. I love that, really. Fruit salad with yogurt is so nice. Yogurt is also wonderful because it is uh, fermented. You see a little is left. I mean, you leave a little bit in. And then you just put uh, cashews and water blended without anything else in there. Bacteria are already in there. And you have a new yogurt the next day. <laughs> and then it goes in the fridge and you have your yogurt. Anyway. So, um, the fermentation that the bacteria do, that is super healthy because when you have a um, the intestine has a lot of bacteria. There's a mass of bacteria in every intestine, the healthy intestine. It is as much as you have brain. If there's more intestinal bacteria than brain mass in the body. So they're very important. And they do an amazing job. And they have to be healthy. And we have to keep them good, <laughs> nourished, well nourished. And um, the uh, yogurt also is fermented with bacteria. It's called acidophila. You need some acidophila to begin, or you make your own bacteria culture. You can do that too. That is a little bit complicated, but it is a possible. You can also purchase the yogurt bacteria cultures, no problem. Easy to get. But once you have a yogurt, you can continue without new bacteria all the time. So, and these bacteria, they help the gut bacteria um, to recover. So once you have maybe, for example, some people take antibiotics, antibiotics, and then the gut bacteria die off. That's not so good. But sometimes you have to, after that, for example, you can uh, eat yogurt to get the bacteria back. <laughs> yeah, so that's a good thing. Uh, yogurt anyway, it tastes delicious, a little bit sour, a little bit tart. Uh, it's creamy and fat with the, with the cashews, yeah, that is a wonderful yogurt. There are so many kinds of yogurt. I just um, um, put a little bit into cashew yogurt these days. So nice, you have an inexpensive cashew source. It's very good. I can quickly make a new one. I like it a lot. Yeah, and, and uh, that's what I want to show you today. Uh, the second part here, the fruit salad with bananas and oops, uh, tangerines and the yogurt. Another three parts, three ingredients of the second part. And you know, the counting the ingredients like this might sound a little bit unintuitive. Say, oh, counting the ingredients? Why would you do that as a chef? Would you do that with a heart? Would you cook with a heart? Of course, cook with a heart. Love is the most important ingredient. Happiness and love, of course. Yeah. It makes every food, uh, every dish great, really good. Uh, but counting ingredients uh, makes it easier to add more and more ingredients over time, because more and more plants over time in the menu, because that's a considered very healthy uh, variety in diet. Many, as many plants, to eat as many plants as we can, as recommended. Yeah. That's why I count the ingredients and then when I count the ingredients, I also uh, know when I have more ingredients after a year or so. And um, I also have a method how to make a new recipe with almost the same ingredients, just a little change. Yeah. And when I have three parts, I can change any part. I can change, for example, the third part here is today, I never did that before. Passion fruit, well, that's part number three, it goes on top. Again, the number three, it's a magic number because when you have three parts, you have it a little bit more complicated, complex. And that makes the, that makes a, the magic thing. That means if I have a flavor from three parts, where three ingredients are, at least, then it's not so easy to determine what causes which part of the flavor. It begins to be one flavor, and it's three. When you have two ingredients only, it's much more easy to discern, uh, to find out, oh, how comes this flavor is here now? You understand, the, the mind begins to work and understand more easily. And the difference between two and three is a really big one. It's a huge leap in complexity. It's only one number, only one, but it makes a big difference because trying to find out how many combinations you can make with three it's a lot more than with two. And that's the reason, maybe. Um, but um, not too much about this. More important here, you should look at this. This is my breakfast today, and wonderfully, I have never made this before. And I make a new recipe every single day to get this um, flavor of endless vegan variety. 
that's only possible become for me for because it's a vegan diet. Once I turned vegan, I had some initially I had some I didn't really know how to cook and so yeah it was a, no problem but it was very easy in my cooking but after a while I cooked with friends I traveled to America worked there as a chef and then I get a more and more understanding and and then all of a sudden I was in this video channel and I made a new recipe every single day and then I began to understand wow there's so much more I can do with vegan diet when I was when I was not vegan I basically made always the same recipes yeah. so that's to me a lot of veganism it's not just um, I mean the most important thing is the animals of course that we love the animals and you want to hurt them you want to harm them it's so terrible what we do to them as mankind it's the most important thing of course and our health and the planet and so we know that that's that's common sense but especially the vegan um, this endless vegan variety for me is an addition it's like a something extra that I didn't know before about it at all and because many people say Oh, you are vegan, you don't eat this and that, it's so poor, why? I like the variety. <laughs> it's just the other way around, you know? <laughs> Since being vegan, I eat everything. <laughs> and there are so many plants, and you can't, you can't eat them all. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you like, like my video, subscribe, and if you YouTube, have another recipe every single day, and this vegan variety, yes. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.